Tanky Shin here. What's going on? We are gonna go through and show you how to cap around spindles with carpet. This is Berber carpet today, by the way. So the first thing I like to do is I like to fill it in with some of the smooth edge around that uh, post there because I will be stapling and gluing later. You can see I will be gluing also around that steel plate. Now we're just filling it in with some under pad to uh, keep the level. We're gonna move on now. We're gonna start cutting out our carpet. We'll do little V grooves here. And we're gonna do a little V groove at every spindle and then we're gonna fold it through. Now this is a Berber carpet. You've gotta be careful. Berber likes to fray. So use your scissors to cut off the fray. Don't try to cut it off with your knife all the time because your knife will pull those fibers. It's fun stuff, kids. Be careful cutting around those spindles not to cut through the carpet into the wood. I'm a seasoned professional. Now I'm just getting rid of some excess. another uh, section of cutting the v-grooves moving the camera for you guys pushing them through now we'll give it a little stretch to tighten it up and pop it on top of that smooth edge in front Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe. If there's any questions or any videos that you want me to make, please leave them below in the comments. Now I'm just taking my tucker and I'm using a rubber mallet because the hammer really makes a lot of noise. And you know what, I really like to tuck those fibers down in rather than cut them off because if they're tucked down underneath, they're not gonna come out and, and fray. And if you were to cut all of them, then they're susceptible to fraying over time. You know, if we need to, we'll put a little glue around there. Berber is not my favorite to install. Now remember around this big spindle, it's got that steel plate in the back. You can see it, that holds it down. So we've got to cut that exact because there's nowhere to tuck it. We're going to run some glue around there. Some special uh, heavy duty glue uh, from a company called Pam. some excess off getting it into position so we can start popping some staples in cutting that little angle groove because of where the stairs kick out there <clears throat> cut off that excess now we'll get some hot glue in there and we will stick that down and tuck that around and get those fibers tucked down in there and let them uh, get a hold of the glue
Now some of that fray you see there, what happens when you push it through the spindle, sometimes it just pulls off. And you've got to glue it, tuck it back in, fill it in. Because if you leave that fray out like that, it's just going to keep pulling and pulling. And you'll be back fixing it later. I sped this video up in a few spots. I think this whole thing took me about an hour. It was a long time. It's only what? Eight, nine spindles? Max? Maybe not even that much. But that Berber was tough. Tough to match. So you can see some of the lines there. What I'll take is I'll take a hammer to everything. I will tuck it in with the blade that fray I will snip it with a pair of scissors and then I will form that round curve which you probably see me do in other videos with a hammer until that thing looks round and perfect and almost invisible now you're never gonna get anything invisible especially Berber that you cut open depends on the on the carpet sometimes carpet some carpets are very forgiving this particular one I don't find it that forgiving but this is what the people wanted and we try to suggest, you know, what you should get and what you shouldn't get. And I don't really recommend Berber for this kind of application, but people love it. So we do it. And I do what I'm told. So we've got to fold that over because there's nowhere for us to hide that anywhere. No one built it up. This is just how it is. So what we do in a case like this is cut it down, maybe fold it a quarter inch underneath, tuck it, staple it, and hammer it down. If we need to, we'll put a little glue around it just to keep it, you know, from fraying. And here's the finished result. It's a beautiful color. It lays down nice. It looks nice in the light. Nice paint color.